I love your shirt today. You're looking great. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. You know, got it. You're looking. You gotta you're keep looking the look tight. Dynamic. Aloha. Greetings from Hawaii. Hawaii, Honolulu. <laughs> Let me show you my view. Chai. Oh, well, this is a five star vacation. Oh. I'm, I'm right How much here a vacation Honolulu. like this cost? Ah, uh, you, you don't want us to send people to hell. <laughs> it's expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have the black mentor right here. And a lot of people are wondering how he makes his money, how he can fly across the world with his family. How he can buy two Corvettes. How come he was the best speaker? Not just the best black speaker, but generally the best speaker. The mega, what's that thing called again? Mega success. Mega success. That is freeze. Me too, I have fourteen. Oh, Lulu. You're breaking it's a clearer bit. now, right? It's clearer I can now. hear you. I can't see you too clearly. The internet is not as good as the one you have back home. I'm in the island. I know. Island. Uh, uh, hey, just, just come close a bit so that we go feel see you well. We know they see you is too it, well. Is it better we'll now? To log in to make sure it's not my own internet. Uh, let me log in for my backup account and see the video. Okay. Uh, I okay. see the video. You can see that it is here that you are not clear. I'm good here. No, you are not clear. I'll screenshot and send to you. Okay, hold on. It's not your fault. It's your network. How about now? Slightly better, but more or less the same. All right, I'm sending you I'm a WhatsApp using, message. So I'm, I'm using my about. phone. My phone. Don't you have hotel Wi-Fi? I just logged out of the hotel Wi-Fi right now. That was what I was to talk to you earlier. The phone is better. You are the one rolling now. Okay, the, the phone, phone is, is better. better. So let's do it. The phone is slightly better. Slightly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've okay. got the black mentor, one of the most successful young people I know uh, the black mentor is an amazing guy. Uh, and he has come to share out of the abundance of his wealth with us all. The first question I want to ask, as I welcome you, the black mentor, the black mentor is an investor, public speaker, uh, realtor, uh, and so many other things. But you see, the first question I want to ask you is, a lot of Nigerians are running away from Nigeria. And the idea of success is you go abroad and be a nurse. Everybody I know goes abroad to be a nurse. If you reach one state, there'll be more nurses than patients. The way I'm looking at Nigerians going into this abroad. If you reach stage, you go go hospital. People will, will go to work out for road. Everybody will be nurse. Driver will be nurse. Because everybody sees that there's, there is abundance, so to speak, in the health sector, if you can work very, 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 very hard. Uh, but in my life, I don't believe in hard work. I believe in smart work. Correct. I don't believe in doing 10 jobs a day. I don't believe in working many hours a day. I believe in working one or two productive hours. I learned that from studying lions. Uh, they say lions sleep for 22 hours a day, but they, are, they conserve their energy for where they need it. Hyenas, on the other hand, from the time they wake up in the morning, <laughs> meanwhile, they cannot kill their own animal. They still have to wait for that lion to kill. Then they go and eat off the lion. So the lion works smart. The hyena works hard. It works either way. But how many of them are the king of the jungle? So if you want to have the king of the jungle mentality, 
you need to move away from the hyena scavenger mentality. Nobody ever became a billionaire scavenging. And no one ever became a billionaire working for another billionaire. Sorry, one second. This guy is calling back to back. Yeah, hello? Who is this? Who? Black Panther News. Yes, you've been calling me back to back. What, how can I help you? Please, sir. I have breast cancer. Oh, my dear sister. <laughs> we have many people that we have not taken care of. One guy just called me today, asked from malaria. Madam, at least you will have sent a text instead of calling me 20 times. I mean, in the middle of a show, I had to pick your call so that you will not remove the, the, the Wi-Fi. I'm so sorry about your condition. Send me a text message. But let me tell you, right now, our charities are overloaded. God bless you, my sister. Bye. It will sound like I'm me. I just feel like... Daddy Fee, your, your screen is rolling. I'm rolling, Abby. Mm-hmm. But you can, can see you me, see right? I can see you clearly. No, your, your screen is rolling. But go ahead. I can hear you. But your screen is uh, rolling. That's the thing. Because they will call. And the call will interrupt the whole Wi-Fi. And if I don't yes. pick the call and address it, they will keep calling. Sometimes I feel real sorry for them. But how do we help? Anyway, so back to what I was saying. No one ever became a billionaire working for anybody else. Nobody became a billionaire working as a nurse. There's no nurse in the whole world that is a billionaire. None. For you to be a billionaire, you have to break out of the cycle of scavenging. What is scavenging? I know this is Black Mentor Session. I'm, going to allow, I'm just trying to give you a little background on what he's going to talk about. What is scavenging? The inability of some of an animal to kill its own food. It has to rely on another animal to make the kill. Examples of scavengers are hyenas, vultures, pedodes, and other very nice animals that you don't want to be like. Examples of hunters are lions, tigers, jaguars, eagles, other animals that you want to be like. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. There is no scavenger that is at the top of any food chain. For you to be at the top of the food chain, you have to be able to hunt. And the person I'm bringing here to is someone who has a wealth of experience when it comes to hunting. Ladies and gentlemen, so many people are jackpying now. The current slang in Nigeria is jackpa. One friend was telling me that she was looking for her mother. She and her mother were looking for her grandfather, her grandmother. Only for them to get, they even went to report at the police station. Only for them to receive a call from their grandmother that she's now in London, that she has jackpa, that she don't want to tell anybody the plans, that her pastor says she's not telling anybody the plans, that when she reaches there, you should tell them. Now, so Grandma Jackpa will leave Mama and Pekin. Or leave Pekin and Grand Pekin. But my question is, when you Jackpa and go to the yonder, are you going to carry your scavenger mentality from Nigeria? Or are you going there to learn how to hunt? So my question for Black Mentor, the question I'm starting with is, what does it take to be successful in diaspora? And how did you go about your personal journey towards success? Thank you very much, Daddy Fraze. I appreciate your platform and thank you for bringing me here to share um, wealth of information with my people out there. But before I go on, I just want thumbs up. If you can hear me, if you can see me, just give me a thumbs up on the comment section, please. Just thumbs up. If you can just say yes. Can you see my mentor? I, can you see me? I can see you clearly. 
Okay, good. I'm getting it. So yeah, so um, there's nothing wrong in coming yes. to the diaspora. There's nothing wrong. I see you loud and clear that phrase. There's nothing wrong um, in coming to the diaspora. You see, every single one of us did not grow up with the information we got. We have oh. to come to a place of sense of realization where we came to understand that what we're doing was wrong. And we need to do it in a different way. And that is where being brave comes to play. You know, I've told this story a lot of times. I told a lot of people, I said, my dad was a great man. He loved me. I grew up with my dad. Some of you, some of you know that. I grew up with um, a single father who later got married to um, my stepmom. But, you know, there is something they call fear of money. Or we call it fear money. Fear money. Where people hoard monies and people try to, you know, don't understand how money works. And the challenge we have, especially in Africa and in Nigeria with the poverty mentality, is that a lot of us, our financial literacy came from over a hundred years ago. Let me explain. Daddy mm. Freeze, I will ask you, who taught your grandfather, who taught your grandfather about money? His, grand, his own father, probably, my great-grandfather. So your great-grandfather taught your father about financial literacy. Your grandfather taught your father about financial literacy. Who is the first person that taught you about financial literacy now? Your, my father. My father. So that is four generations. And unconsciously, a lot of us don't know that. Because my kids, everything they know about money right now I, uh, 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 at this age is what I am teaching them right now before they go out there. And that is what stays in their blueprint. You know, when you start working with, you know, successful people, there's something they call financial blueprint. It is the belief system that you have all around money, how you handle money, how you handle things that has to do with your success and so on. A lot of people, let's say 90% of people learning from their, you know, great, their father, whose grandfather taught them, whose great grandfather and so on and so forth. So you come to realize that 100 years of financial literacy back then is what you, you know. So in my own case, my father always said, save money, save money, save money. So the only thing I knew was I was working when I was in Africa and all I was doing was just saving money. And you know what I was saving money for? I was saving fear money. Saving money for rainy days. Saving money for rainy days. Now, there is nothing wrong in saving money. I am telling you a concept that if you can catch it, you will change your mentality all around. Woo! I was saving money in the past just for rainy days. I will get money. I will work hard, save money, 200000 300000 500000 in the bank. Then guess what? Somebody wants to go for their own dreams. They want to go for the university. They'll come and family will say, okay, or well, somebody, this cousin is going to university. You have to gather money and give to them. Boom. I will give them money. Another person will come. Oh, somebody is sick. Rainy day money. I will give to them. And they never pay you back this money. Correct? Mm. They never pay you back this money. So when I came to the US, I still had that mentality. Don't get me wrong. I had the mentality. But you see, I was fortunate to find myself in an environment where I started reading. And when I started reading books, it exposed me to a lot of mentors, some of them indirectly and some of them directly. Now, I started changing my mindset in 2017. I came to the U.S. in 2016. 2017, I still remember that day. It's, it's the day of my daughter's birthday, 22nd May of, 20, 22nd May of 2017. I just signed my um, immigration documents for my lawyer to send to the government, and I was going out, and me be, being a very inquisitive person, I asked him and said, hey, what do I stand to gain now that I've filled all these papers? You know what the guy told me? I'm asking the question so that I can know that I'm communicating with you because what you're rolling that phrase. What did he say? I can my, hear you. My, 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 okay, my attorney told me he said, you, you are not qualified for anything. You still got to wait for a few months before anything is going to come back. 
So as I was stepping out of the door, that aha moment came. He said, well, Joseph, you might be qualified for a library card. Library card. I literally held on to that. Sometimes when the ideas and the, the voice that will change your life comes, it is not when you're prepared. You have to always listen. So you know what I did? Mm. Okay, I'm going to go get a library card. So I went and I got a library card. And that year, I ended up reading 54 books. Now, these were mentors who had actually, you know, affected my life indirectly without me even knowing. Let me tell you something. Every single wow. successful person that, that has ever lived that wrote a book probably has written how they became successful in their own book. It is your duty to go out there and read those books. So I was reading those books when I came across a session in the library tagged the most successful people in the United States, and it caught my attention. You know why? Because I was hungry for success. Mm. I was hungry for success. So I went out there and I started reading those books. I read books by Warren Buffett, by um, Steve Jobs, Donald Trump, uh, J.T. Fox, uh, what's the name of the other guy? Um, uh, Grant Cardone, the Tony Robbins of this world, and so on. I read so many books. Why did I have time to read all those books? I was not working. I couldn't work. I was not qualified to work yet. But you see, that is the excuse that a lot of people give. When you're not qualified to do something, what are you qualified to do now? Use that thing. Use that. Use what you you're have. qualified. Use what you have now, now, now. Now you are here. You have access to the library. You can go to YouTube. You can follow people who are going to teach you how to do something on social media. You can come on that first page and learn something new. You always have the opportunity. And always remember, your waiting time is not a wasted time. Hmm. Unless you make it wasted so, by yourself. Yes. So that period I was waiting to become qualified to work, I was using it to do what? Invest in myself. So while I was doing that, you know, curiosity started coming. And you have to understand that thoughts are things. So the way I was reading those books started forming a thought pattern for me. I could hear the voices of the successful people in their books, seeing how they did it. I could literally envision myself doing the same thing. And while I was doing that, I found out that the secret to 99% of successful people in the United States was real estate. Real estate is by far the fastest way you can become successful in the United States. Are you with me? I can so hear you. When I got that, now I've gotten that key. What do I need to do next? I needed to take action, Daddy Freeze. So I went online. I started looking for mentors who were teaching people how to get into real estate. Hmm. I can hear you. Call came in. Can you hear me, Daddy Freeze? Yes, yes I, can. I can see you now. You're no more rolling. I can see you now live. You can see me so, now. I, yes, I can see you now. I was, Blink I your was, eye two times. Hello, your, Blink your own. eye twice. Blink your eye twice. Live. I can see you live. <laughs> so let me go on with this. I started, now he has frozen. I started, you know, doing these things. I started going online, looking for a mentor. Then I find Grant Cardone. When I find, when I found Grant Cardone, you see, a lot of people, what I'm going to be sharing with you is not that you've not heard it before. The truth of the matter is a lot of people don't take actions that it frees. When people, I get a lot of messages. You know, I shared some with you this morning, right? Daddy Freeze, are you there? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Some messages. Okay, I, sh I, shared, I shared some of them with you. So people come, oh, black mentor, I'm motivated, I'm this, you know. I'm like, okay, now that you're motivated, now that you're inspired, what next? What do you do next? It's not what you hear that changes you. It is what you do that changes you after what you have heard. You know, it's the actions you take after you've heard something that moves your life forward. And sometimes they're going to be small actions and sometimes they're going to be big actions. But for you to get to big actions, you need to start taking small actions first. Correct? Mm -hmm. So I went online, found this guy, Grant Cardone, and I started listening to what he has to say. 
Mm. I wasn't having a lot of money at the time. All I had was, you know, I sold a few things back home. My cars, I had two cars. I sold it. I sold some of my things. And I was just, you know, waiting, buying that time to see when I could start working. Don't forget, I still had that mentality. But from the, from the, the training of my dad, saving, saving, this new mentor started telling me that savings was not going to get me anywhere, that it was investing. Hmm. So I'm, I started hearing people like Grant Cardone and others say invest, invest. I started reading books about investment or investing. So when I started doing this, at a point I was like, it's time for me to take action. And I did not wait for everything to be okay before I started taking action. Number one, I was still waiting for my papers, right? Number two, I'm not qualified to work. But at the same time, nothing stops me from acquiring information. So mm. the time came. I called my wife. I said, you know what? I want to go into real estate investment training. And by the way, that if it's just to correct you, I am not a realtor. I am an investor. Okay? So mm. I'm going to share that when we get into real estate. So I, to get the training at that time was $997, $997. All I had in my bank account was $1,050. And it was my house rent. So I called the, the vice president of my family, who happens to be my wife. I said, this is what I want to do. And she laughed and said, you want to use the rent money to pay for your training? Well, if they kick us out, we're going to go sleep on the street. But, you know, I had this inspiration inside me that if I take this action, it was, it was going to move my life forward. And long story short, I did it. Now, a lot of people come to the United States. You need to understand the system that you're coming into. In the United States, I keep telling you, there are three categories of people. And it's all about the tax bracket that you fall in. For you to become mm. successful in the United States, you need to be among the lowest tax bracket. Or those that don't pay taxes at all. Either you fall under the lowest tax bracket, or you find a way to avoid taxes at all. Now, there's a difference between tax avoidance and tax evasion. Some people say, oh, you don't want to pay taxes. No, I pay the barest minimum taxes that I have to pay. So when they come here, because they do not surround themselves with the right people. I remember when I came, I went to visit somebody in Texas. I met a fellow African. He was my Uber driver. The moment I landed at the airport, he's sitting there. He had my accent. He's like, are you from Nigeria? I said, yes. You know what he said? Oh, but I will feel show you well. We will show you how you go take get paper, how you go take get work. And I go, look at this guy is driving an Uber. Now, I'm not saying driving an Uber is bad. Don't get me wrong. You understand? I want to show you way. He wants to show me way. What is he going to show me? How I'm going to, you know, do how an arranging marriage. Uber? Do an arranging marriage, get the paper and still join them to do Uber. Because those Uber, they are cars that they give them for hire purchase. They get the car and they are, they are working, they are paying and they're taking care of their stuff. But that is not what I wanted. I wanted to be successful in the real sense. And what does it mean to be successful? To be free, to be like where I am right now in Hawaii and 10 minutes away, there's a volcano eruption going on right there. I want to be free to travel. I want my work, my business to take me to places. I want to get experiences. I want to be able to surround myself with like-minded, successful people who are shaking the world and shaking their area or their niche market. That is what I wanted. You get my point? But if you have such big dreams, which I think 99% people have, if you have such big dreams and you go and join yourself with scavengers, not too long, you become among those people that are in scavenging. You get what I'm saying? So what I started doing was I started putting myself in those places. When I started that training, it was an online training, the 997. It was not a physical training. But I started learning those things, how to scale your business, how to market real estate, how to find real estate, how to put contracts, how to buy, wholesale, and sell. My first deal, I made $8,000 in the United States. You can imagine what that did to my system, what that did to my mindset. So I started repeating and repeating those successful actions. And before you know what was happening, I started building what we call credit here. As I started building credit, a year and a half later, I got my first pre-approval of $1 million. And that was when my real estate business went all over. 
Hmm. Took me like 30 minutes to answer one question. You're in trouble today. We are doing that. We don't enter. And now my fault, God, I'm going to answer before I even ask you. Yeah. You owe me for that scavenger hunter line. Oh, that line is powerful. But in all yes, honesty, borrowed it. <laughs> you are a hunter. And Thank you. people need to learn this. People need to learn that if it was by hard work, carpenters, mechanics, wheelbarrow pushers, palm wine tappers, who will climb a tree to tap one bottle of palm wine and ride their bicycle to the market to go and sell it. They will be the, hard, they will be the richest people on earth. But the richest people on earth... Like... Can you hear me? Is breaking. Yeah, Sorry. Okay, go on. I can hear you. Keep talking. But the richest people on earth don't work as hard physically, that is, as a nurse or a doctor in a hospital. Now, this is not the first time you are coming here, um, Black Mentor. You've had many successful outings. Uh, there was a time you had a master class and, and people came, over 100 people showed up online. I remember being a part of that. And then over 200 people showed up online. Over 200 people. Over 200 people. I beg your pardon. Forgive me. That's like double what I was quoting. Now, Black yeah. Men, how did your boot camp go? You know what? One thing I have learned to do is I don't like talking about what I do. But what I can tell you is the wealth flow community has been boom. You hear when I say boom? The word boom, I'm trying to see if I can do boom, 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 if I can trademark it. It means plenty. It means abundance. Okay? Mm. I have a couple of people who came from my boot camp. Um, one of them is actually here. I want him to say his experience before I go. Uh, he's a barrister. So <laughs> he cannot, uh, he can, he's a barrister in the United States. Um, what? Uh, What's his name? Let me bring him on. Uh, Barry Stifani, are you there? Let him say hi. Barry say hi if you're there, Barry Stifani. I want to just briefly tell your experience before I say anything. Because the only thing I'm going to say are good things, right? The only, I'm not going to say anything bad, but I want somebody who was in the class to actually um, say something. Uh, Barry are you there? Then I have one of the speakers of the event. Um, Kim, are you there? Hmm. Hello, Kim. Kim, are you there? I also flew in my China representative all the way from China uh, for the boot camp. So I don't know if any of them is there. If I, yeah, yeah, said hi. Look at him. Immigration attorney. If I, okay, okay. Hmm. Bring him on, please. On. Yes. He's a successful immigration person. He's now switching to real estate. Let me just give you his background. Let him say why he decided to switch. And let him say what he learned in the class. He's a barrister here. Uh, he, cannot, he cannot come and boo-boo us, <laughs> so to say, right? So bring him on. Hmm. Hello, can you see me? No, we can't see you here. It looks like you're outside. He's rolling. Yeah, I'm in the... Uh, yes, I'm in my car. Um, your camera hello, Daddy is... Your camera is showing outside. Hello, your camera I can... yourself. Yeah, I just found it now. Okay, okay, go ahead. Hello, Daddy Fritz, can you see me? I can see you clearly. Beautiful, thank go you. Ahead. Daddy Fritz. Black man to self. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> Fritz, Daddy Fritz, you don't know how much influence you have here in America. When I went to the, the master class, everybody was saying, I saw him on Daddy Fritz, I saw him on Daddy Fritz. I'm like, wow, I couldn't believe it. You know, because oh, I met him also. <laughs> Now. Mm. You are massive. You are massive. Yes, I was there at the master class. Like you said, I'm, a, I'm an attorney here. I'm an immigration lawyer. You know, you are talking about uh, Jagba Jagba. I think next, next first quarter of next day, I'm going to book a session so that I, I will tell our people some of the mistakes we make here. A lot of our people make here. But anyway, today is not for me. So, um, yeah, I went to the master class and uh, it was amazing. 
You know, it's one thing to learn from somebody who will show you their playbook in real time, in real life situation. All right? It's one thing to just be on social media and be telling everybody what, what is happening and all that. But it's another thing to be physically present where somebody will actually show you what they are doing. You know? A lot of us came there because we can relate with him. You know, he's just like one of us, came from Nigeria, grew up, born in Nigeria, grew up in Nigeria. He, didn't, he did not inherit any money from anywhere, you know? And, and there he is, doing these things live and direct, with results, which you can see in, in real time. You know, I don't know what more you need. I don't know what, uh, what other explanation you need. So that is so it. You, I, I really... about, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're talking about the master's class. That, the master's yeah. class was online. What about the boot I, camp? The boot camp, yes. Sorry, I was there at the boot camp. You know, that was last month. Tell and uh, he showed... The boot camp, you are just talking yes. big. <laughs> Which is, that's what I'm saying. He showed us these things. In re, we went to the, this, some of these houses that he actually uh, fixing and flipping. You know, in addition to the training itself, we actually went to those houses and saw things ourselves. All right? And like I said, the, most of the people who were there met... met uh, um, the black mentor here on your on your program, and uh, we, we saw these things in, in, in real life situations. Basically, he he, he was there. We had all these uh, trainers who came and also put us through so many things. People who were there actually got pre-approval right there and then on on the show itself. Yes. How many? So, how, many um, how much pre-approval did you get for your class? About about ten or so. so about ten people got pre-approval that day. All how right. Much in total. Total, that should be between 10 to 15 million. I can't remember that amount, Stop. but it's a lot of money. Yes. We got it's a lot of million dollars. What? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, 25! Yes. Yeah. So, so Wait, it, it, it was... <laughs> now, let me say this. Let me, just, let me say this, Daddy Freeze, because... People can look at this program now and say, Oh, where did he bring this guy? You can look my name up. If I okay case my name... I am licensed in the state of Massachusetts. You can go to the uh, Massachusetts Board of uh, Bar uh, um, Overseer and look up my name. So this is not just uh, another guy just showing up to, to talk. You know what I mean? You don't, uh, you don't you need to say that. We're not trying to... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Credibility, credibility have, matters. No, no, no. I know, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. We're not trying to impress anybody here. We're giving out... You see, let me tell you something about successful. I'm helping your mindset, sir. I'm helping your yeah. mindset. The thing with successful people is they will come and share their secrets to success. Whether you believe it and do take action is no. very important. The reason why I brought you is not to create credibility for me. The reason yeah. why I'm here is I don't want to blow my trumpet. And you were in the class. So it's like when you go online and you're giving reviews, right? I want you to come and mm -hmm. review me of what you learned and what you got. We're not trying to you know, do any, let's not use that mentality and let's move beyond yeah. that. You, so, you so, can't be playing in the field with small fishes. We're not small fishes anymore. Uh, absolutely. I totally, yeah, so I totally agree with you. <laughs> so, like I said, my, um, I was there, life. I was there physically. We, it, 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 in the master class there, you, they will show you how to set up a, an LLC, a business, how you can actually, uh, what it's all about to have an LLC, the protection that you enjoy by having an LLC how you can build your credit and have a pre-approval. You know, it's one step at a time. And these things are, are, are real, are real. It's not, it's not something that you can catch in the air. It is happening live. So I, I, was, I was there. I was solely motivated, not just for me getting into real estate, but for my own business as well. You know, I have been able to set up a whole, uh, I've made all the, all the arrangements basically to scale my business. You know, most of us there, let me tell you something, most of us there are not there because we can't pay our next rent. But the truth of the matter is that we are there because we know we can do more for ourselves and for people right. around us. We can create value, you know? Uh -huh. right. So that is basically what it is. So I, I really exactly. appreciate what happened. And uh, going forward, in fact, I, I, I told some of them there, how many millionaire dollars, how many people do you have in your contact as a millionaire in dollars? Nobody raised their hand. I say, what are the chances <laughs> of you being a what are the chances of you being a millionaire in dollars? You don't have anybody in your contact who is a millionaire in dollars. The chances is slim. Let me be honest with you. The chances are slim. So that is basically what it is. Um, Black Mentor just called me a few minutes ago and said I should be on this line. I said, I have to. I just have to. And uh, say what I, what I got to say. So 
If you are still contemplating, if you are still doubting, get online. Get online. Hmm. Get online and get a life. Wow. Very deep, very passionate speech from an immigration lawyer in the UK. and um, In the US. In the US, I beg your pardon. I, I really, really love this. You are talking about $25 million. Everybody listening to us right now is interested. $25 million is not small money. It's not, it's not chicken change. How are you able to raise $25 million in one now, that the phrase is all about relationships. You see, that's people in, in, in the whole of December. If you follow my page, all I'm talking about is about relationships. You see, when I started going into the network of successful people, successful people are the easiest people to deal with when they trust you. You remember mm. the lady that, that works with the IRS that came to my previous live? Yes. Between, between that live and now, she has closed her first property, $320,000. First real estate investment property in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So what happened was, I've built this relationship. A lot of the people that come in there, they cannot get pre-approval. Mm. They cannot get it because they will tell you to go and bring this, go and bring that, go and bring this, go and bring this. The list is so long. But when you come for my training, because now... You are now in my circle. You are now my, in my inner circle. The reason why you see me go to the places where I go and I pay so much expensive money is because I want to be on the table where successful people are speaking and they can see me as one of them. Now, when I get into that circle, real successful people will share the same information and opportunity with other people who comes into their circle. Hmm. Because if you, if you want to build an honorary business, Okay, you can do it yourself. But if you want to build an empire, you need people. So, right there in the class, and the, the, the attorney is here, I picked up my phone, and those who were, pre, who were qualified, there are certain criteria I asked. For example, have you done a real estate deal before? Do you own your property? And so on. If those two answers are yes, or either of them is yes, I gave them between $1, 1 million to $2.5 million with a phone call. Now, these pre-approvals are for investment properties alone. They are not for you to go and buy your own house and come and live there. Mm. So one of the challenges that is affecting people is they don't have information, which is knowledge. I give them knowledge. Number two, they don't have the relationship to banks and lenders, which I have because I've been doing business with successful people. I give them that. Number three, they don't know how to find good deals. You see, inflation is all over the world right now, but there are still good deals. How do you find good deals? It's anatomy. There are people that are getting divorced. There is somebody that died recently, and I just bought the house from them. The, the fix and flip I finished two Fridays ago, the lady died. So we know how to get the deals. We know where to get the deals. These are the three things you need. Number one, okay, how do you leverage what you have? How do you build relationships? How do you find the deals? When you have these three buckets in front of you and you have the information, it is one deal after the other. When I finished that other fix and flip that was on my page on Friday, by Sunday, that I don't know if you saw the video, I was in my next deal. I was already in my next deal. As I'm sitting down here, my workers are back there in Wisconsin and they are working on my next deal. So that is what you need. You need people with leverage. You need people with relationship. And like we say in Africa, follow who no road. Um, I want to say something, Black Mentor. Um, quite a lot of people do not understand the concept of investment. When you are buying a house, I try to tell people, you go and build a big house in your village. It's not investment to... It's not. It's not investment. To... When you buy a house and you are living inside it, it's not investment. To... It's not. It's not an investment. I was, I was saying it the other day, and people were tackling me when this guy, uh, B-Lord, came and said he wears fake Gucci and uh, fake watches but lives in original mansion. I was like, yeah, it's good to have property everywhere, but... <laughs> If you don't understand the concept of property, you can go and buy property in that America and lose your money. If you don't know right. where... 
You can go and buy property in a neighborhood where to go and collect your rent. If you don't get three gone, you don't go fit collect your own rent. Where you will go there and collect your rent, person will tie in face. It's not every part of America that is blooming. I was saying right. the other day that it is better to buy a watch as investment, a Patek or a Rolex. Like, like this one, property. like this one. Like yeah, this. when you don't understand it. <laughs> a lot of people just listen. And, and, and I want to go back to what Black Mentor said. You learned from your father, but you are supposed to be teaching your father. And that is one place where Christianity led us astray. Honor your father and your mother was taken to a whole new level. Your father and your mother are not wiser than you. Bill Gates is not wiser than Elon Musk. He's older, but not wiser. Neither are they wiser than Mark Zuckerberg, who is a kid younger than even me. Age is not a, it is never directly proportional to wisdom and knowledge. You can be very old and not very smart. Maybe all you have in your book of wisdom is fear. Fear is good. You will know how to avoid where there is riot. You will know how to avoid where there is armed robbery. You know, but you will also that fear is like one juju we used to do those days in Ibadan. Eh? They say if you do the juju and police comes to arrest, they will not see you. But the problem is if you try <laughs> go to a party and police do not arrest and they are serving food, they will not serve you. Mm. So as the juju is taking away your the things that can put you in trouble, it is also taking away your blessings. They will give everybody right. food, they will give only you. So that juju called fear, as much as it seems to be protecting you from the unknown, it is also endangering you because you are basing your wisdom on somebody else's misguided notions. Buy property, buy property. Ask where. Mentorship is key. Very, very key. Property. It's about mentorship. You can be playing golf with all these billionaires one day and they'll just sit down one day and tell you that, ah, you know what? We're all thinking of buying Bitcoin. You, that you know that Bitcoin was not part of your investment plan. All of a sudden, because you see the circle, they're all, yes, we're going to do, we're going to do. You just quickly go and buy small down. Because mm -hmm. you have access to information. Listen to me. What separates the rich from the poor are three things. They are unable to see the big picture. Poor people can never see the big picture. They will look at this and say, this is and house. And house always looks bigger and more valuable than watch. They, can't figure they don't know that watch is what is watch. Have you heard of paintings? They are paintings that if you own, people from Japan will come and visit you at home. Correct. Rembrandt, Van Gogh's. Those are investments. There's one Van Gogh painting. The Japanese guy that has it says, he wrote it in his will. He said, any day in Pai, they should bury him with the Van Gogh. The whole world went crazy. You will they wait, make you pass it, you will come by. Lie, 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 and go on top of your own property. You are now telling me. So, my problem is, do you know how valuable paintings are? You don't know because you live in the. Where you see there, there are monets, you know, and different types of paintings. There's another thing I need you to, to, to listen to me, eh? Go to, as I'm talking to you now, this is Black Mentor session, but I'm also giving you my little experience that I have. Right now, as I'm talking to you, go and wash your face. Just get up and go and wash your face. Do you know what I want you to wash? I want you to wash poverty mentality out of your eyes. Wash it. Stop thinking poor. One problem a lot of people have, why they never grow beyond where they are, is they always think poor. You know what it is to think poor? Food, clothing, and shelter. That is That's what it. the mind of a poor man. If at this stage you are still thinking of food, clothing, and shelter, and you are basing your decisions around food, clothing, and shelter, you are in trouble. So these are people who, as black mentors, black mentors is not thinking of food. Someone that bought $7,000 tickets for his family to <laughs> travel to where there is volcano, to go and see what volcano looks like. As you did, you feel go UI Zoo or Lagos Zoo, go look lion as lion. Maybe say you fly 20 hours to go look volcano. His problem is not food. He don't wear cloth as you see him so. 
His problem is not clothing. He lives in a house and is currently renting a beautiful five-star hotel. His problem is not shelter. You need to get out of those basics, food, clothing, and shelter, and think of actually grabbing at the loaf instead of licking the crumbs. And that is why I like listening to people like Black Mentor, because they motivate people like me cerebrally. We don't lose Black Mentor. Mindset, <laughs> elegant Belly saying it. Mindset is not key. Mindset is everything. Mindset is everything, not key. Everything. Absolutely. Once you can fix your mindset, you have fixed it. Once you have fixed your mindset. Let me bring Black Mentor back. Once you can fix, you guys don't understand it. And if we tell you, we're not going to argue. Better. Welcome back, Black Mentor. So, yes. I was trying to get into their heads because you see, a lot of people don't understand the power of mentorship. You can't do it by your. When I was young, I taught myself how to drive car, I taught myself how to ride bike, I taught myself how to fly plane. After a while, I started thinking that I actually need to actually sit down and learn these things properly. A friend of mine was riding a bike and went into a corner at 150 kilometers per hour, and he had what they call tank slap when the handle would just begin. To an instant spy. But because he was experienced, he knew how to get out of it. That is mentorship. Mentorship is how to deal with situations that will crumble or cripple normal people. How do you get a mentor? You come on Daddy Free's live. Black mentor pays to come on Daddy Free's live. Ask questions. One guy said, Black Mentor, I want to be a musician or something like that. I saw that text message. But I also want to understand investment. While I'm doing my passion, I, also, I know that it's, it's not easy for your passion to feed you all the time. And it's also good for you to have what, what they call that income that does not, that is just their station. How, how, how do they call it? Passive. Passive, passive, income. Income. passive income. income. Passive income. Here is your man. Ask him questions. So Learn talk about passive income. You know, you know, you know, the money I'm spending right here is passive income. It's not my direct income. We have direct income. Direct income is when you work and exchange your time for money, mm. right? Pass passive income is money you make while you're sleeping. So, like my training, I have books online. I have people who, do you know? Sometimes I wake up, I see like three, four, five thousand people have already booked you know, on my one-on-one -on -one mentorship just to come to my office and talk to me. It's one hour for, for $1,000. If you want me to mentor you on the phone, it's 500 for one hour. And it's something that, you know, I can just exchange my time and I talk. So these are passive income. These are not money that I have to engage. I have to do things, you know. For example, as we're talking in training, this year, low, we made over $300,000 in coaching, just training people. Now, it's not the money. We give them value. But I'm showing you ways that the moment you start building and investing in yourself, despite all the money we make from real estate investment and all that, okay, we still have access to funds that are coming in. When you see me buy two Corvettes, you think it's my direct money. It's not my direct money. It's not my investor's money that I'm using to buy Corvettes. You understand? It is money, for, passive money. Money that you are just sleeping, you wake up and you see the money there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So Clearly. these are the ways, you know, like you're talking about, let me tell you, let me confess here that if we were, when I started following you, I came to understand that wristwatches are investment. I never knew. And I've never come here one time to say I know everything. No. But when mm. you started talking, one day my, my wife asked me, she said, you have all this money. You're just giving out money to people. You don't have Rolex. You don't have this. You don't have, I have expensive watches, but not as expensive. You know what I did? I got angry and I want to buy three Rolexes. Now, somebody who knew me wanted to sell his Rolex, and I have a guy who does Rolex, uh, Rolex business. I took the Rolex, and I went and I sold it. I bought it, and I sold it, and I made $10,000 for, 
just selling that Rolex because the guy needed cash. Are you getting my point? So yes. there are many ways you can make passive income without you even lifting yourself. And some of these things, you know them through what they call it, getting a mentor. One of my mentors, you guys have been seeing him, has exposed me internationally to different businesses. You know, I was focused on real estate coaching and all that. But as I tell you now, I'm investing in one of the biggest businesses in the world called Illusion Museum. Have you heard about anything like that? Hmm. At the freeze. No. We have invested in an what we call an illusion museum. We're investing in um, Chicago. Chicago, you're going to have one very soon, an illusion museum. You're going to have, we have one in Greek. We have one in um, Paris. And the last one is, is Las Vegas. You know, hmm. these are illusion museums. And they expose you, mentors will expose you to new things. Another problem we have as Africans is this. Africans do not like mentors who drag them up. They want to hear, they want mentors who will tell them what they want to hear. Mm. They like pity party too much. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry where you are. God will do it. They don't want to hear something like, that. your last 1,000, go and buy a book. What? You want me to use my last 1,000 to go and buy a book? You want me to use my last 1,000 to go and do a coaching training? You want me to use my last 1,000 and travel to go and meet somebody? Yes, do it. They want somebody to tell them, don't worry, God will do it. Let us pray. You know, let me hold your hands and pray with you. God is going to do it. No, the Bible itself didn't say my people perish for lack of money. It says my people perish for lack of knowledge. So anytime you meet somebody who is giving you information that is higher than where you are, it means that person is trying to drag you to a higher place. Hmm. 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 Word, black mentor. Word. Word. So that's it. So it's, it's always important to understand that when you see people living a lifestyle, you know, I bought a new car, people like, oh, it's invest. No, I do training. I do so many things. When I wake up, you are still sleeping. You understand? There are different opportunities. Sorry, don't listen to Black Mentor. Black Mentor does not sleep. <laughs> black Mentor will call you at 4 a.m., 10 missed calls. Let me go call the say. Black mentor, calm down now. <laughs> this morning, this morning, what did we speak? We spoke like 3 a.m. at Y. We don't first do one interview live first before we come this interview. <laughs> We're on the phone for over one hour. You know, and and one thing, you see, the first time I ever spoke to Black Mentor in my life, he just called me up. He said, Daddy Freeze, I wanted to come to your live, blah, 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 blah. He asked me how much. I thought he wanted to have a meeting. So I billed him 250K, which is what I billed for one hour of meeting. So when we now finished, he said, ah, that, um, let me send your account 250,000. So I said, no, 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 no. 250,000 is what me and you just did now. <laughs> that meeting is 250,000. You want to come to my live, that's 1 million, no discount. Black went to say, ha, hey, hmm, ha. You see, I have understood how to get a certain type of people what they want and what they need and what they can benefit from. I always try to tell people, I always try to put a clause and black mentor always knows and understands that, look, you are solely responsible for your financial decisions. I'm responsible for mine. Correct. Every business carries its own level of risk. There is a lawyer here. Do you know that real house is not considered, is, is considered, it's not considered high risk and it's not considered low risk. It's considered me medium, medium risk investment. Yeah. There is still a risk. Even though it looks like house, there is still a risk. Earthquake people. Of course, there is fire. There is people. tornado. There is... Uh, In Nigeria, they still sell you the same house. They sell the same house to 15 different people. Correct. So, you need to understand these things. You need to... You need to also be able to price yourself. Grant Cardone charges how much for his mentorship class? Um, the last program I went was $10,000. $10,000 for one person. Yeah. And how many people will come and attend? Right. Thousands. <laughs> oh, black men, uh, uh, Grant Cardone will sit down and have an event and make $1 million. Some people will walk this earth 
from the day they are born till the day they buy, and one million dollars will not pass through their hands. Plus right. what they what they've won, where they've lived. If you add everything, you will not get one million dollars. And right. then someone makes one million dollars from one event and has several events. Oh. You need to understand one thing. The kind of people you surround yourself with determines the kind of information that you are privy to. The kind of people you surround yourself with determines the kind of information you have. And people don't get this. They don't understand this. So, Black Man Talk. Yeah. When this, um, Unfortunately, I'm in an island, so the network is not very good. But I, mean, I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep so the much. Barista for too I'm long. Actually, barista, if you, are, if you need yeah. to go. Sorry, Barista, yes. if you need to go, you can go. I don't want to keep you for too long. Beautiful. Thank you, for your, thank you for the opportunity. Like I said, uh, uh, Daddy Freeze, we'll get the guy for our session soon. I'll get, I'll get back to you. Please, I really love it. I really and, love it. Come and talk about, yeah. And yeah. trust me, you go get clients, Taya. <laughs> All of them you wait for Papa. All right, then, you guys. Do it. Right. I'm, still, I'm still on the show, but I'm just going to go off. All right? Yeah, All right. That's fine. God yeah, bless you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Black Mentor, who were the speakers at the just concluded uh, boot camp? Um, so I had uh, Kim Nak. She was actually trying to tell me Kim Nakin uh, is a, one of the best uh, marketing person in the whole of Wisconsin. She was here. She said she cannot comment. She cannot do this. I don't know how you set up your page. I know because of how I many people sometimes. I think follow me or something. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She said, I'm here. Bring opportunity knocking. Opportunity knocking. Opportunity, opportunity knocking. She's the only, yeah, she's wearing a yellow sweater. Okay. She was one of the speakers um, at the event. She came and talked about marketing, and it was explosive. You can bring her on. I'll be glad. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey. Hey. Are you there? I'm oh, in my car. Me? I'm here. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on today. Looks like Joseph might have some connection issues. Our yes, lovely mentor. Issue, but we can hear him. So, Joseph, go ahead. If he can't oh. talk, I can talk. I can free live a little bit until he until he okay, gets go there. Ahead, go ahead. So, I was there for the entire boot camp. What an amazing experience! We know he's going to come back. What an amazing experience! I got to be one of the speakers, and we talked about. Um, about marketing, building relationships, which is it's key to anything. And every single one of these people that walked out um, definitely, hopefully left with some relationships, not just with the Black Mentor, but with each other. That was something I, I told them, connect with each other because you can lean with each other. Um, and I tried to talk about marketing in the way so that they could instantly take action. You can't just sit there and wait for action to come to you. You have to take the action. I, I challenge them, take photos, tell people where you are right now. What are you doing to invest in yourself? Because you have to invest in yourself and get yourself into the right mindset before you can work on all of these things. So I said, take a photo of yourself, tag Black Mentor, talk about all of the things that you're doing, tag about the experiences. Don't give the secrets away because you paid to be here, but definitely talk about what you're getting out of this class. And I got to build relationships with these people over three days. And I watched these people work on taking their action. I got to help with getting those, um, those those lines of credit, those 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 real pieces of paper were in my hands, telling people you were just offered this line of credit for one to two and a half million dollars. It's a real thing. I was there. So awesome, black mentor. Yeah, I'm here now. Yes, can you hear me? So, 
she was sharing her um she was sharing her wealth of uh knowledge regarding um the last boot camp uh what do you have yeah. to say so the, the reason why I brought Kim, Kim is, you know, one of um, the best uh, independent marketing person. She has her own firm, Opportunity Knocking, um, in Wisconsin. And some of you who will follow my page early this year, um, I decided to bring her in to take our marketing to the next level. So she's an independent person for herself. She owns a business. She doesn't work for me. And, you know, when she came in, she took marketing to the next level. Uh, Barry Stifine is here. He just left. <laughs> he learned a lot of stuff from her. They know each other, you know. Um, she was there. So, mm -hmm. but, you know, my, I wanted to bring her on to let people know that it's not just real estate I'm teaching you. Before people do business with you, they want to see your market. You have to market yourself. You have to market your business. You have to market everything around you. And people must like you before they buy from you. You get, you get my point. So, um, Kim, you know, beyond what you thought, what do you think of the overall, um, you know, the overall picture of the, the boot camp? What do you have to say? I know you're going for a meeting. I just want, and thank you for joining anyways. Absolutely. I was extremely mentored and I've been working with you for months, but I felt so much inspiration. I didn't feel motivation. I left not being able to sleep. You know, that's, that was one mm. thing you talked about. If you're motivated, you're going to sleep. If you're inspired, you're not going to sleep. And I left completely motivated and excited, excited to plan your next bigger, better events because they're, they're, they're not going down. They're going up and we're going to make that happen. And I can't, I can't wait to watch that happen and be a huge Amazing. part of it. Yeah. Now, let, let, me, let me ask you the last, let me ask you the last question before you go, Kim. What is the weather right there in Wisconsin right now? It's freezing. My car says it's 40. <laughs> and I mean, tomorrow, <laughs> I think it's going to be like high of 30. It's going to be like 19. And I have a huge parade I'm coordinating. And I'm going to be freezing as a little elf outside tomorrow. <laughs> I should have put you in my bag, Kim. I should, you should, next time, Shut up. take my bag. Take my Shut bag up. and I'll bring, it, I'll bring it to the warm weather. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you so you. much for having me. Have a blessed day, you guys. And I'll see you when you're back okay. where it's nice and cold. No, I'm not coming back there. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs> so, so she was there. She's going to be coming again. I, you know what I did? What was amazing about this particular um, last boot camp was I had various speakers. You know, it wasn't just the black mentor there. I wanted to make sure that I give them different perspectives. There was sales. There was marketing. Um, Audi, are you there? Uh, my international... Um, uh, what they call it, representative in China, uh, flew all the way. I flew him all the way from China to come and talk about international marketing. Nobody's going to teach you that, you know. Uh, you know. So the, the truth of the matter is we really, really nailed it. I had somebody who does millions and millions of transactions in real estate. I brought her in. Uh, look at him there, please. Add y.od underscore. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm Add looking free. to... Please bring him on. Why dot, yeah, he's there. Why dot Audi Junior underscore. Audi like the car. A-U-D-I. Yeah. I have brought him. I've sent him a request. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. How are you how, doing? How are you doing, Audi? I'm doing fine. Thank you. I'm doing fine. How are you enjoying yourself? Where, where are you joining us from? Oh, Milwaukee, in one of your Airbnbs. <laughs> Show us around the Airbnb. <laughs> but you're, you're, I don't know why you guys are rolling, but just... So Audi uh, came to my class no, early this so. year. Came into my class early this year. Daddy Fritz, can you see him? Clearly, yes. He's actually my guest. He's staying in one of my Airbnbs. So he came in uh, to my class early this year. And, you know, I like giving people opportunity who take action. So you join my class, did all the stuff. And, of course, I was looking at how I'm going to move my business to Asia. So I brought him in. Okay. Um, I brought him in and uh, we set up the business in, in um, uh, what do you call it, in China. I already, we set up, you interviewed him the last time. We set up the office in China. But, you see, I, I realized that just okay. sitting down on social media like this, talking to him, was not going to give him the needed motivation, inspiration, 
and training that he needed. So um, we spent about close to $6,000 to bring him from China to come and join our boot camp. That's right. So he came, he came to the boot camp. He's been with me over a month now. He was supposed to leave last week, Saturday, and he did his test and he was COVID positive. <laughs> did you have so, any? Um, say that again? It, was really, it wasn't that serious. It was just day one. It felt like a normal cold and flu, but um, I'm doing fine, as you can see. But um, the thing with COVID, you can be 100%, but except you test positive, then you're recovered. Oh. So okay. you, yeah. So, but he's not sick. I mean, I met him. We all went to California. I mean, we're going to go into that California discussion. We went to Mega Success. I did my thing. I had a lot of people there. We came back and he started sneezing. He was the only one that got COVID. He started <laughs> sneezing. And I was like, are you sure you're okay? I remember that I went to pick him. You know, he even has a car, but he doesn't like to drive in America. I don't know. It was, it's a China thing. So <laughs> I picked him from, from his Airbnb. And I said, let's go to the office. Then he was sneezing and trying to wind up. I was like, are you okay? He said, he's fine. So for you to go to China a day before you fly, you must go and collect. You must go and do COVID tests and you must show um, negative. So he yeah. went and he showed positive, so he couldn't go. So I left him back there and I went, I said, do whatever you're doing. I'm going <laughs> for my vacation. I've been there so my extent. He's there. So tell us, you came, you've been here, you know, you've been here for over, a, going to a month now, over a month. Um, yes. Tell us what was the experience, you know, you coming for the training, you've been around, you've seen deals. Just tell us what's your overview. Okay, so yeah, I arrived on the 7th of November, so getting to a month right now. Before okay. I came, uh, my expectations are different from reality, and I'm really glad. First of all, thank you so much for the opportunity. Like Black Mentor said, it would have been one thing if people tell you all this, but it's another thing to experience it. I've known Black Mentor for a while now, but I must honestly say, if I didn't come for this trip and he told me, what I saw and experienced. I would believe him because he's a black mentor and I've known him for a while, but I would believe him 75 to 80%, not oh. 100%, because you know where we come from. Everyone says it. You have to put Zobo to make the story sweet. So would I think he was lying? No, but I think he remixed it a bit, you know, to hype it up. But I came here and it was mind-blowing. And like you already said, this man does not sleep. I arrived and the next day, 5 a.m., he picked me up already. And we were on the move. There was no jet lag at all. We visited the properties, Airbnb, um, the buy and flips, shopping for some new deals and all. The boot camp was amazing. I also assisted in preparing for that. And people came from all over the States. And it was interesting being in a room full of people that they all had the same thing. Everybody wanted to make it. Everybody wants to scale to the next level. So mm -hmm. that was my main reason for coming. But him being so generous, he was like, you cannot just leave after the boot camp. I actually want you to come with me to California as well and see what I'm talking about. And that was a whole other level. I got in there and in the room, people were calling amounts that... I cannot even comprehend with the zeros. It made no sense to me. My brain was falling apart. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> my brain was falling apart. And the comparison was not for envy, but it was inspiring because already being in China 18 years, I thought I was the boss. I thought I was doing good. You know, I'm comfortable on my own. But when you get to this room, you notice that you are, you are nowhere. Like there are people doing better and bigger than you. And it's a good thing because it elevates you, it inspires you. So overall, I've had an amazing experience and I'm looking forward to going back and just implementing what I learned. Mm. What does it feel like living in China? Do you speak Mandarin? Oh yeah, last time I spoke, <laughs> I don't know if you remember. What case your Jung one? What the Jung one? Fei Jung, Fei Jung how? Fei Jung, Fei Jung how? <laughs> so, Mandarin, <laughs> very sweet, the sweet my body. Ah, the absence. Use the ahead. You know what? That advantage everyone is saying. We all know the Chinese are smart in business. So everyone is saying, you coming from Nigeria, Nigeria, I know they carry last. Then now you have lived there 18 years with the Chinese brain. 
In fact, uh, nobody fits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But yeah, this was an amazing trip and an amazing experience so far. And oh, this is God. not his first time for coming to America anyways. But, you know, overall, how many times have you been to America? Like, you visited uh, and so stuff like that. States, um... And he's married, to an, he's married to an American, though, that he frees in oh, China. Wow. <laughs> oh, you took yeah. her to China. Oh no, I met her in China. I met her in China. Interesting. But um, I've been to the states four times already. But every time I came, it was just for pleasure. It was one week, two weeks, in and out. So this experience was literally different because it was more, it was strictly business, but it was pleasure at the same time because I was rolling with someone that is good at doing what he's doing. So it didn't even feel like work. It felt like work and pleasure all at the same time. And I refuse to tell my wife, but this is the best trip I've had so far. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, you know, when you went to California, you know, what, who were some of the people you, you, you um, encountered in California? All right. And so what, was this... the best, what was the best takeaway in California? Man, it was just um, the mindset, game changer mindset. There were celebrities. Um, the famous um, Michael Jordan's coach was there. Contino, the basketballer, was there. Um, billionaire Fred Fishman was there. JT Fox, the host, too. No, he was good there. Good mm. <laughs> JT Fox. There were countless, yeah. there were countless you, celebrities. You know. Just concluded JT Fox event. The number one wealth yeah. speaking event in the entire world. How correct? Are you asking yeah. or are you asking Yakubu? Ask the two of you one by one. Okay, Yakubu, you go first. Today, it's not about me. Oh. When I'm coming to your life, it's not about me that it frees. I want to come and let people who have experienced what I'm doing talk. So, go ahead, tell me your experience. So, I was blown away. I was blown away because before coming here. You are and still I'm still here. here. Alone, still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact, I can't wait to come okay. back. I'm already asking black men. So I was like, so how often am I visiting? You know, it's like, we'll uh, talk about please, it. I wanted to add, I wanted to add selling Dallas real estate. Can you add that? She did, she did not know I'm going to do this, but just bring her on. Selling oh, Dallas hi. real estate. Yes, sir. Say hi. We met her. We met her in, in Dallas, Let her in California. Let her tell us our own experience. Go ahead, Yakubu. Yeah, so it was great. Um, again, for JT Fox to bring all these people in, it wasn't even about money or everything. They trusted him to be there. So as soon as all of them got on stage, advising, giving tips and all, they all said this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, oh, so my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't hi, even hi, see hi, you. Hi, That's hi, the funny hi. thing. Oh, my gosh. Black mentor. Why, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> Black mentor, you have brought people out of their hiding. Hi, 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 hi. How are hi, you? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Oh my gosh. My, my, my. Jacob. Thank you uh, for you doing so good. Black mentor, you are the best. Hmm. You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> oh, Black JT, JT Fox, we were blown away by by black black mentor he brought it down he brought the house down yes Woo! yes my brother brought the house down i was so i've been with jt fox for about two years he's been longer but we haven't really connected so him coming on the stage a mega success with jt fox's crew it was just a whole he brought he changed the game he was a game changer there that was just something mind-blowing Woo! Yeah. Let me bring him back. Let me bring him black. Yes. Yakub, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good to see you again. Good. My husband would be so mad at me that. Janelle said he had the best speech. <laughs> oh yes, he did. He, he did. did. He brought a thousand people. The whole house erupted. Jeez, mm -hmm. We could not sit down. We're still Black, reeling from oh, your speech. Study, please. Well, they're here. That's why I want them to speak. So tell us your experience. You know, you, we met. You know, I met your husband first. I didn't. I met your husband. Actually, her husband met Yakubu. 
yeah. the first night we got there when we were registering. And Yakubu said, hey, look and at one of our brother here. And I said, go ahead, go ahead. I want you to Yeah, so we've ahead. been with JT Fox. We do deals with him. I'm a real estate investor. I'm doing what you're doing. But let me tell you guys, if you would listen, whoever would listen, whoever is here and is still in doubt, when you are in the diaspora, you're in the U.S., and you see the white people doing what they are doing, it is hard to, even though we had a sit at his table, he interviewed me, I came into his thing and all that. But the thing is, you don't see your own skin color. You're like, where are they? What, how are they doing it? You never go into that inner, you don't, it doesn't, I don't know, maybe it's, it doesn't resonate with you. Black mentor shows up and he was like, no way. Black mentor <laughs> for me is grand. Black mentor for us is grand cardone, right? Absolutely, He's yeah. doing the grand cardone thing on that level. So if you cannot plug yourself in, if the coaching, you look at it like, if you look at money, you'll never be able to go to that level where this pe where black mentor, what they're talking about, what Daddy Freeze is trying to tell you people, get out of that mentality, man. Your brother is there killing it. Black mentor has, in fact, uh, uh, he has removed the bar. He has removed the wall. He has removed all the ceiling, glass ceiling. He's like, come, let me show you guys, my people. There is money to be made. I, I'm sorry. You know what? You know what? You know why I brought you here, Cleo? I'm, I'm actually emotional right now. I love people who take action because anybody can talk. The cheapest commodity on earth is what? Talk. Mm -hmm. Even while we're here, we're sharing real life experience. People are coming from different parts of the country, the world, and talking. So people are still like, eh, you know? But you see, when did I have my session with you? I met this couple, Daddy Freeze. Are you there? I'm listening to you 100%. I met them, I met them, I met them, and she reached out to me, and they booked a section, a coaching section with me. Was it on Monday? It was. Today is what? I've Friday. lost track of the whole day. Oh, today is Friday. It was today on Monday. Friday. It actually so, was on okay. Monday, yes. So on Monday, she and her husband came to my coaching section, and this lady mm -hmm. blew my mind away. She's the first person to register for the bootcamp, 2023, $5,000. Mm. Wow. While we're talking on the phone, while we're talking on the phone, she's like, exactly what she was like, Black Mentor, you blew my mind. You did this. What, what do we do? And, and they're coming to visit me. When are you guys coming to visit me again? On the 15th. They're coming to visit me on the 15th. While we're talking, she has gone to my, uh, what do you call it? She has gone to my page, <laughs> gone to my bio, and I just saw a message. Pim, she said, I've signed up for your coaching, your mentorship for 2023, March. 2023 i was like what? okay i was like okay now i'm going to show you what they call value <laughs> i'm going to take you from where you are and i'm going to take you to the now it's not like she's doing bad or something what we're talking about here is going to that place where some people think nobody can get to where people think nobody can get to and i'm they were there what did you think about my speech <laughs> i was crying i screamed I screamed so much. My, my husband had the video on me. He was like, everybody was looking at me like I'd lost my mind. I literally lost my mind. Just seeing you. I lost my mind. I could not believe ah, it. Black mentor. The black tormentor. No, it was for real. It's on my, it's on my, uh, it's on my uh, what do you call it? It's on my page. Go, go see my yeah. speech. It's called the best, uh, the best speech, black mentors, Joseph Nato, my best speech 2022. And you know what, what, what happened was, I did not prepare for that speech. Wow. You spoke from I your did not soul. Prepare, did not, I just spoke from my soul. Because we're there for four days. Everybody that was coming, we had about close to 100 speakers, right? Plus, yeah. uh, what they call it, people who were interviewing, the, you know, the top 10. Let's say, let's say 50 speakers. Let's put it that way. Because a lot of people were coming. So... A lot of people are thinking about leadership, how to make money, how to do taxes. How to do... So I was like, these people are all speaking the same thing. Believe it or not, I prayed about it. And I said, you know what? And I just received this thing in my heart. Like, just speak from your heart. Go there and just inspire people. And I went there, Daddy Fritz, and in seven minutes, I became the number one inspirational speaker. Do you know who became, you know who became uh, the top speaker overall? Who? Clo Pratra. A guy yeah. wrote a book. A guy wrote a book about JT Fox. Oh, JT, that book. And he was not a speaker. He read from the book. But you know, the JT organization said number one top inspirational 
speaker and number two overall speaker in that event. That's what I came out with. Yeah. And I want to dedicate, I want to dedicate that speech to all my fellow black people out there. Woo! I, I let them know that if I can make it, you can make it. That's and right. it's not making it in doing scam, doing things that are wrong. You know, people always think that once a black man makes it, making it he must be scamming people he must be doing something wrong that is not the case you know let us learn to appreciate our own you know let us learn you see all this while i've been doing things this whole year that he freaks you won't believe it it's the white people that have been giving me awards yes it's not it's not any black you saw the awards there you saw yes. the, it's the white people that have been inviting me to the white house it's the white people that it's a white man that put me on this stage that we're talking about here yes the very first day I met JT Fox in Chicago, I went to see him. He said, man, I'm going to put you on stage. I'm going to make you famous. And he put me on the stage there. It's a white man that did that. Mm -hmm. So whenever we do things that are right, let's not always think that, oh, he must be doing something. And believe it or not, after that event, I got a call from Forbes. Forbes Monaco is publishing Woo! me this December. I'm saying it for the first time here. Woo! Yeah, Forbes. Forbes is publishing me. You know, in that room, there were over a thousand people from 75 different countries. That's right. Right? And a lot of people are into network for different things. So I got a call from Forbes Monaco, and they are, they are going to be interviewing me. Uh, they actually done the interview. They're going to be publishing me in Forbes uh, magazine. So that's, uh, that's one of the things that platform gave to me. And that is why you need to hang around people who will move your life forward. You know, and I wanted to give you this. Tell us what you do. Um, tell us what you do, Cleopatra. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are the best. <laughs> I have never seen Daddy Freeze until I came and started looking at, at looking into your page and just making sure that every day I log in and see what you're doing. I have been a real estate um, broker, a realtor in Texas for over going on seven years. I'm doing well. I mean, you know, we're doing really well. We're not, we're not struggling. However, when I met JT Fox, my goal was to break that barrier that you already broke, change the trajectory of my family completely, turn my country around just the way the white man does his own ear, because that's what we're lacking. The vision, the reading, the, the, the investing in ourselves, the upliftment of each other. And I have been doing that in my own locality here, in my Nigerian community. I have become a force here. However, I need to go to the next level because when you have, whenever you get to this, like you get to this place and you have made all that you can possibly make around, you're like, okay, this is not enough. I need to go bigger. Yep. You with that person as soon as i saw you that light switch went off all the way it was just ringing in my head my husband said when we went to jt fox the year before we spent over fifty thousand dollars just buying this buying tell this, them buying that. tell them tell them <laughs> this year my husband as we were flying there yeah we went on the helicopter with fred we did bologna fred we did bologna tycoon x we're in his circle we have a lot of you know connections here and there but I still, there was still a missing link, right? And I just kept hearing God kept saying, it's not going to be JT Fox. It's going to be somebody in his circle. So when we went on this flight this time around, my husband was just dragging like, oh my God, we're going to do seven days. I said, don't worry, Again. just go, honey. So you, when we met you, I said, okay, honey, if you went back and seen all the how many hundred, when I filed my taxes yes, last year, I was crying blood, over a hundred thousand spent in coaching and all that. And my husband was like, are we going to do this again this year? I was like, no, we're going to play it low. <laughs> yep. When we met you, I said, honey, so all the money we spent on coaching and all that with this person, with that yeah. person, do you see now that it makes where sense. Where it has linked it to. Yeah, where always, it has linked it to. Always not hold back, but always try to advance yourself. Does it now make sense that we met? We would never have met Joseph if we never went to his second mega success. He said, 
He said he totally And this is the last mega up. success. Yep. And it's this the last is the one. Last, yes. And it is the last one. So yes. uh, again, in closing, I am a real estate broker, a realtor. I do fix and flip. We do investments. We do everything. Not even close to what jo Joseph, Joseph, what you do. <laughs> Joseph, you are, you are the MVP of, of real estate. I think. I think. Hey. So, guys, if you need Black in anywhere, anywhere in the world, <laughs> I think that high like real this. Estate, <laughs> you want to, you want to do your real estate. She's a licensed after a broker. There's no broker again. My wife is a broker. Yet. That me, be the other. I did hire yeah. real estate again. Yeah. But Joseph, I'm my old Joseph, I'm my old throw away my, I for you. <laughs> no, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me talk about you. So, you know, let me add some value. When you become a realtor, the highest you can get to is a broker. Even my wife is not yet a broker. My wife is um, a real estate um, a realtor. This lady here, Cleopatra, is a licensed broker. She knows everything that has to do with the rules of real estate. I don't even know. The only thing that I know is I know how to get the money. She knows all the grammar, all the legal terms, every single thing that has to do with real estate. And this is the kind of person you want to deal with in Texas and around Texas. So if you're doing, looking to do real estate in the United States or outside the United States, I know my wife would do not like this, but go ahead and partner with this woman. Okay. Go ahead. The truth of the matter is, the sky is big enough. My wife is in Wisconsin. She's in Texas. We can all make money. We're all making money. Okay? But she's going to be coming make, to my real hey, estate. We're making yeah. money. Yeah. We're making money. <laughs> hey. She's going to be coming to my boot camp next year. And I promise you, I don't make promises. But what did I promise? I told you that when you finish my boot camp, you will need to pay 10 times to somebody to teach you how to fail. Because I'm going to show you every single thing that I'm doing. I'm going to show you how you're going to get there, how you can market yourself, how you can take this thing and to whatever level you want to go to. When I met JT, you know, we, we spoke. I was like the only person JT did not interview in, his, in our circle. You were there. I told you. The moment I got there, it's like, this guy is doing it. Let's just bring him in. And I want to appreciate JT Fox, you know, for giving us the opportunity. Because if he didn't put me on the stage, Daddy Freeze, I will not have the opportunity to influence my own um, um, other Africans who were in the room. Right. A lot of Africans were influenced during that program, and they are connected to me now who came in that, um, in that program. And, you know, thank you, you know, JT, for giving us the opportunity of having my own. And I'm so humbled, you know. Um, I'm humbled to be that person who came in there. And I thank God I did not disappoint. Daddy Freeze, imagine if I went there and I flopped. Ooh, a flop, impossible. Nigeria not the no, carry last. No, <laughs> but imagine if I went there and I flopped. All these things we're talking, you know, I would have, I would have said that is the reason why you need to invest in yourself because the more you keep investing in yourself, then when that opportunity comes and you nail it, that's what people call luck. He's lucky. But you know what? I've been investing, investing. So when I got there, you need to go and see this video. If you watch it 20 times, you'll be emotional 20 times. That the first wife was telling me this morning, she said she was crying when she was watching it, you know. I went there, it was inspiring. I did it. JT chatted me the next day. You know, JT is a friend and my mentor. Um, I'm older than JT, but you know, it's not about age. It's about who can teach you, who mm. can show you. And JT has opened so many, many doors that uh, the next 50, 50 years, I cannot finish eating. I've met wow. billionaires. I'm doing business with billionaires because of that dude. So, um, and these are not people that listen to small talk. So if you like, go and chat, go and do, it will not answer you. <laughs> I've gone beyond the level like, you know, that's the problem with we Africans who are the rich Africans. As Cleopatra is here now, if she, say, ah, this is, if, uh, if she says that, uh, uh, what is his name? If she says that, ah, uh, Daddy Freeze is the one showing me how to make money, you know what I would do? I would go and chat Daddy Freeze. Ah, Daddy Freeze, you know that Cleopatra? She's not what she says she is, though. <laughs> and because Daddy Freeze is, is Daddy Freeze looking for the next opportunity, he used to kick you out. He said, ah, I saw, we talk and we don't know. This, these are not guys. Well, these are guys that are loyal two, four, seven, three, six, five. These Ooh. are guys that I can call right on the phone. Cleopatra, am I lying? I can no. call JT and said I have a D one million dollars. He will give me one million dollars, one hundred percent without collateral. Loyalty that is the is network key. of loyalty. That is, is the key network we are working with now. I am telling you, I can call JT Fox and say I need one million, not 
on not ten. I need. I have a deal. Of course, I'm not going to tell him to give me money to go and to go and party. I have a deal for one million dollars. We are in the same investment club. Me and she. He will give you one million dollars. That's right. But of course, they will split the profit with you fifty fifty because you are in the inner circle. So these are the kind of people we are dealing with, and it can go from one million dollars all the way up. You know. So we we have passed a certain level. And we just, what we're saying here is not bragging. It's just to inspire people. I keep telling people, you know, I was showing somebody a video this morning of Hawaii. And I started sensing that they were, they were, they were shrinking. And I had to call that. I said, I'm not showing you to show off. I am showing you to inspire you that these are the kind of places you should come to holidays for. Are you getting the picture? You should yeah. show somebody your car. It's not because you are showing off. You are showing them so that they can have inspiration to say, if this black man can buy two Corvette, can buy a yacht, can get houses, me too, I can do it. It's to inspire you because what you cannot see, you cannot get. You have to see it in your physical eyes, see it in your mind before you can have it. That is free. Uh, Thank you, uh, Cleopatra, for coming. Thank you so much, Cleopatra. Thank now, you all. <clears throat> I have two more questions for you and we're done. God bless you, Cleopatra. Thank you so much. Thank you. What are your plans for real estate for 2023? And what are your plans for training people for 2023? Debbie's here. Not one question or two questions. <laughs> what are your plans for real estate business 2023? And what are your plans for training for 2023? Over to you, Black Mentor. Black Mentor is rolling. Seems like network connection, yeah? Let me remove him and bring him right back. Okay. We always find a way to make things happen. I'm sorry again. I'm in the island. Can you hear me? We can hear you clearly. So answer the two questions before the island yanks you out completely. <laughs> so this year, we set a lot of goals. Um, first and foremost, we set um, a target of doing real estate of uh, $1 billion. We didn't get there. You see, the thing about setting goals is that it helps you to look to where you're going. But guess what? We made 20% of that. So it means we did, we did a lot of real estate um, this year. Hmm. Next year, we're, we're going to set the same target. We don't set small target. We always set a higher target. So, for example, if I set $1 billion to do real estate next year again, and we still do 30%, that's $300 million. Now, don't get it twisted. When you say $300 million, people are like, oh, it is real estate. Some of the properties are, you know, a million, two million, five million, three hundred thousand different real estate that we do. And not all the deals are closed. Some of them, for one reason, I was explaining to you, for one reason or another, they might not close. But the truth of the matter is you have to keep setting those targets. So next year we are doing that. Um, the first month of next year, which is January, we're going to be having a class on the 16th of January. We're going to be having how to start a business and scale it in the United States. How to start a business and scale it. It's going to be an online class in January. And you want to be in this class. The reason why you want to be in this class is this. You want to be in this class so that you can have all the blueprints that will start you off, that will start you off for 2023. You don't want to see how 2023 is just going to happen. Already, if you follow my page, I am already prepping your mind. Daddy Fritz, can you hear me? Clearly. Consultation free. Oh, yeah. No, I'm giving free trainings for for the next 30 days. I'm giving free training on how you can work on your mindset because that's what you need. So every day, come to my page, this same page that I'm using, first, second, third. What's today's date? Second on the third. I've lost track of time. What's today's date? Is it third or second? Today is first. Today's not first. <laughs> I know that because my wife better. Today is second. First. Today is second, okay? So, every single day for the next 30 days, I am giving you 
a tip on how you can start working on your mindset to prepare you for a better 2023. You don't have to pay for that. Now, when you finish this mindset training that I'm giving you, the second week of January, you need to be in how you can start a business. You cannot be successful working for somebody. You cannot be rich working for somebody. You mm. cannot be wealthy working for somebody. The way to be successful, especially if you live in diaspora, is to own your business. Even while you are working, when you collect your salary, take your salary check and pay it into that your business account. You are started building what we call business history. When you start building business history, you can get loan based on business. So the first thing you want to do is you want to know what kind of business do you want to do. Then you build a business around it. You collect that your check, that your 1,005, 200, 2,000, whatever, and be paying that check into your business account. Then when you do that for six months, you can use your business account to get funding for your business. These are many things we're going to be teaching you the first week, I mean the second week of January, so that you can equip yourself before the end of January, now you have your own business. You know, what you don't know, you don't know. Hmm. That is phrase. I um on the 30th of November, I was going to the airport. I was to fly to Hawaii on the 30th so that we can do my wife's birthday on the first, right? Hmm. When we got to the airport, before I would keep the things down, go and pack the car in the car garage, came back. We were late for the flight for 10 minutes. So we didn't fly on the 31st. So yesterday which was the 1st of December, we started to rebook, we rebooked the ticket and we started. When we got there, there is a route that has been there the whole time. A shorter route. I did not know. I've lived in Wisconsin for six years. But I saw this road and I said, let me take this road because I've been taking this road. I'll go and drop them in front of the airport. They'll collect their bags and I'll go and turn around and go and park the car. I told my wife, let's pass this road. Let's see where this road will lead today. Guess what? It was a shorter route to where the cars were being parked. I never knew for six years. And for some people, you are like that route. You, are, you know, that route has been there for you to pass all this way, but you never knew. Because what you don't know, you don't know. Mm. What you don't know, you don't know. I never knew that route. List. If I knew that route was a shorter route to park my car, I wouldn't have missed that my flight on the third year. Because I missed that flight by only 10 minutes. And that time it was when I packed the car, took the ticket, walked from the garage to where I was going to get my ticket or where I was going to get my body ticket. So what you don't know, you don't know. You need to prepare yourself. Success does not come by praying alone. Success does not come by visualizing alone. Success comes by you taking action. So if you go to my page, that means if you can pin it, I don't know. Or if somebody can type it, how do you can type it? Joseph, my name, Joseph Nantoma dot com slash events joseph nantoma dot com slash events you will see there how to start your business and scale it in 2023 it's going to be there get on the link okay get there or you go on my bio this page the bio you will see joseph the link nantoma there on my events dot Where com that? Joseph, that, that's my website. That's oh, okay. my business website. Joseph Nantoma, N-A-N-T-O-M-A-H. I would type it and put it on the link on the chat. Or let me type it. I'll put it there now. Look at it, Joseph. Okay, I'm not seeing your chat. Okay. I've pinned it. So, okay, beautiful. I'm never seeing what you're pinned. So let me go ahead. If you go there, josephnantoma.com slash event, event you will see you will see the training. Go there and start signing up now. Don't wait. Go there, sign up, prepare yourself. That class is an online class. So you can join from anywhere in the world. This guy that is sitting down here on the screen, where did you join me from when you came to that class? Oh, oh, China. China. He joined me from China. And look at where he's sitting now. He's sitting in one of my properties in Wisconsin. So whether you are in Spain, you are in Holland, you are anywhere you are in the diaspora, you need to set up your own business to be successful. You need to set up your own business to be successful. 
Go on, sign the class. Let's forget the boot camp first. The boot camp is in March. Let's not talk about boot camp. Let's talk about the class that is coming in January. Go there, sign up. Don't look for any excuses why you were not going to sign up. The question hmm. you want to ask yourself is this. How much money are you willing to exchange for a brighter future? Let hmm. me tell you what I did. The first money I spent for training ever in America was $997. The second money I spent was $24,000. The third money I spent was $30,000. The fourth money I spent was 10000 This year alone, I have spent over $150,000 in coaching myself, in getting into relationships. This year alone, I don't wait. I don't uh, wait. Whenever I have the opportunity to invest in myself, you think all this training, all these things we are talking about, I'm going for free. I'm not. The same way Cleopatra and her husband paid money to get into the uh, JT Fox network and all that, that's how I paid. But you know what? There are two ways people spend money. You can spend money, okay, for luxury things, or you can spend money investing in yourself. You want to spend money investing in yourself first. When you start making money, then you start investing in your, in, then you start buying things that are luxury. I didn't just come, when I started my real estate journey, my car was, a, you people did not see me that time. 2009 Dodge Caravan. That's what the car did. That the first time you see me. Mm -hmm. I was using the bulk of my money to go for training. Network's gone again. Someone said, thank you, Daddy Freeze, for this, sex for this session. God bless you, brother. <laughs> I'm not tired. I'm just generally tired, but I'm enjoying the session. Wow. I've added you again, Black Mentor. Okay. All right, so let's round off before the network kicks you off permanently. Now. Yeah, the, 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 network, the network is so bad today. We're going to do this again, Daddy Free. So... People did not see me then when I was struggling, when I was putting things. You don't eat your seed. You know, what you do first is you invest in yourself. And that is always a quiet time. Nobody sees a seed when it's underground, right? You are in the dark. It's growing. It's there. Nobody knew the black mentor at that time. The reason why everybody's hearing black mentor, black mentor is now, right, now that seed has grown and it started sprouting all over the place. So invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Take action for 2023. I have taken action. Where I am, you understand, I am still taking action. But if you are just starting, join that class in 2023. I can see it, josephnantoma.com forward slash events. Join that class. Take action. 
16th of uh what do you call it 16th of Je uh, january is going to be a sunday i believe come to that training take action move your life forward and i can tell you the best of the best is yet to come in 2023 that is that is uh, that is thank you so much joseph nantoma um i thought i had energy until i met you <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Black Mentor. Um, if you're interested in hearing more about the Black Mentor. So someone is 15th now. It's 15th. On a Sunday, it's 15th. Somebody just corrected me. Okay. 15th of January, 2023. Yeah. God willing. May God keep us. God willing. Uh, beyond, alive. Beyond that also. So now I have a question for Black Mentor. People who want to sign yeah. up, how do they sign up? Email address, so you, phone number. So how my, they... my, if I when I give back my phone number, my phone doesn't rest. And you know, so um, my staff is here. Where is um? Are you there, Jenny? Is Jenny there? Jenny, are you there? Hello, Jenny. If you're there, say hi. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Are you there? Can you hear me, Daddy Freeze? I can hear you clearly. Okay. So if you want to ask questions, maybe you want to pin that, they can either go to my bio, it's there, or you go to the website. Um, I think the What's website, the website is, again? is better. The website is there, josephnantoma.com. Okay, she's there. So you can also send an email to... Jenny, Jenny, put your email there. You can okay, send a message if you want to. Jenny, type in your email there. Um, you can send an email to Jenny. Jenny is there. They are working. I'm vacating. Sorry, Jenny. Um, so send an email to Jenny's gonna put that. Jenny's gonna put her email there. Send her an email, she's gonna help you. Jenny, put your email there. Yeah, put your official email. So that's um, our office uh, manager. She's the one that takes care of training, not on the investment side, uh, training. So Jenny at Wellflow.com. Jenny, J-A-N-I-N-E. J-A-N-I-N-E. At Wellflowcoach.us. Jenny, J-A-N-I-N-E. Listen to the spelling properly. J A. N I N E at Wealth Flow Coach. Wealth Flow Coach. Once again, at Wealth Flow Coach. US. Janine at Wealth Flow Coach. US. Run wherever you are listening right now Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. The email is Janine, J A N I N E at wealthflowcoach.us. And guys, it would be very, very nice if you send us email than sending us DMs on Instagram. We cannot check our DMs. When I go on my DM, I have thousands of them. I cannot read all of them. But if you yeah, send an email, for example, while, yeah, you know, like when I'm here now, so we miss out on a lot of DMs. So send an email here. Jenny is there. Our job is to handle training, everything training, not real estate. Everything that has to do with our training, Jenny is the person to talk to. Send her an email. If she needs to involve me, she will involve me. Send her an email. Join that class. She's going to send you the link. Take action. Just take action for your own sake, for your children's sake. You know, I'm out here in, you know, Hawaii. I've always wanted to come to Hawaii, Daddy Free. You know what? Many, many years ago, I dreamt of coming to Hawaii, but it's expensive. It's about only the flight ticket to Hawaii is about $7,000 for my family. The hotel, the resort I'm staying alone costs about $3,200. So that's already $10,000. We've not talked about food. We've not talked about entertainment. Today, now, I want to go and swim with the dolphins. It's $300 for one hour to swim with dolphins. I want to go for zip line. I want to go the boat ride. I want to do this. Why am I saying? I'm not saying this to brag. It costs money. For you to be able to get there, 
you need to have something that you are doing that is moving you, that is moving income, like I call it the fugu, that's moving money into your purse steady. While I'm here, I am making money into my purse and getting consultation. Jenny is getting emails. This morning, Jenny has already told me, I have this email, I have this meeting, I have that meeting, I have that meeting. Some I could join, some I could not join. So make your life, for, don't sit down and be judging people who are making you to take your own action and move your own life forward. Okay, so get your own money, get your own stuff going, and be good for yourself. Thank you very much. You're most welcome, Black Mentor. Um, move from being a scavenger to being to hunting meat, ladies and gentlemen. If you're interested, the email address once again is Janine J A N I N E at Wealth Flow Coach US. J A N I N E at Wealth Flow coach.us what's the fugu again explain the fugu what's the meaning so the meaning of fugu was just an inside joke it's actually from it's not from me i didn't make that word up it's actually a word that jt fox normally jokes with us with so the real meaning of fugu is a japanese word means poison fish <laughs> oh fugu, but, fugu um, yeah fish. so yeah, it wasn't my word, but you know, I mean, I mean, that's to tell you how loyal I am to that guy. So we said, I joking, oh, bring the fugu. It was just something we're joking with, and it stuck. And now he has turned it into a brand. He has turned it into a brand. And you are there, you are saying, it's Mugu, is this? The guy is making money. When we went to JT Fox event at the freeze, are you there? I'm right here, I'm not going anywhere. There is a t shirt called Fugu. We bought it. He has, you know, that. In that toy that used to shake it like this. Yes. We bought it. It has turned into too money. It's, it's also, we just joke around and he's my friend. JT is my friend. I support whatever he's doing. He supports whatever I'm doing. So I started joking around with, you know, I started joking around with it, Fugu, Fugu. And the next thing, all my followers are like Fugu Master. It wasn't me who invented that one. The word I invested, the one I invented, uh, invented you know what that is? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I see you on my live. Come and you fuck. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That, that is what that I is. Invented, but I didn't invent for good. That mm -hmm. is the black mentor. You want to be part of the mentorship class? You want to be part of the boot camp? You want to be part of the upcoming class in January? Send it's a Japanese yeah. right now to Janine, J-A-N-I-N-E, at wealthflowcoach.us. Janine, J A N I N E, at Wealth Flow Coach. Wealth is spelled W E A L T H. Flow, F L O W, and Coach, C O A C H. Janine at WealthFlowCoach.us. Thank you so much, Black Mentor, the Wealth Flow Coach himself. And I'm sure I'll see you during the week on my live and we'll speak before then. Take care. God bless. And guys, get yourself a mentor. That's advice that definitely rings useful. Take care, God bless, and have a splendid weekend. Let me, let me wave like that, the freeze now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Your best days are always ahead of you and never behind. God bless you all. Bye-bye. God bless you.